guys, I'm Drusha and you're watching Drushka to a TV. I am back with my second video for today. If you watched my last video, I said that I was filming two today. This is the second one. You may see it on Sunday night for the US and Monday morning for Australia. Or Sunday night for Australia and Monday morning for Australia. Hmm. I will be uploading this the day after I upload my makeup haul. If you watch that, thank you. Thank you so much. I have come back for this very video a bit vampy. That is because I have used the... I did keep and use the e.l.f. liquid lipstick in the colour Tea Rose. I did say that I'm thinking this would come out a bit wishy-washy, they were the words I used, but in fact, it's come out a lot sort of cherry, a lot more cherry red-ish than I thought, uh, so it's not really that mauve colour that it looks like. Don't mind it. Also, love that it tastes like mint. I'm sure you guys may have left me comments in that video. Uh, because it's a little bit more vampy, I did have plum eyes on, so I just warmed them up with my Inglot palette. These are great palettes, Inglot, so cool, and they're really pigmented. So I just chose uh, the terracotta colour down the bottom there and warmed up the lid to match a bit better with the lips. I'm going to get straight into favourites today because I'm really excited to say after favourites. I'm going to do a how I pack my purse on my new twin set. I have used it once. I don't usually like keeping tape on anything, meaning if you get a new luxury handbag it can come with blue tape or clear tape. I usually always take it off. But in this case, I had a moment of like, oh, I want to leave it on. I did wear it out with the tape on, not me at all. So the tape is still on there, but I have worn it once and I like how it packs so far. So I want to show you guys, plus you've mostly requested it a lot on Instagram and that haul video. The twin set is getting so much attention. So I want to chat a little bit about it. So let's show you favorite. We have quite a few beauty favorites this month, the month of July. Actually, it's about 3 p.m. and I think I want a cup of tea. Yeah, I'm gonna go make a cup of tea. Biabi. Life is just better all around with tea. This is my tea forward mug from LM that is on the daily with my English breakfast tea in it. So as I was saying, beauty favorites. This month, actually used a lot. I, wow! If you can get your hands on either the pot, which this is, or the wind up chapstick type from Chanel Lip Balm, it is a great little investment because it's really, really nourishing to the lips. Easy to get, you know, it doesn't slime everywhere and it's really nice. It's nice to put which I am doing, which I'm going to tell you, underneath matte lipstick so you don't get sore cracking matte lipstick. So this Chanel lip balm, which I think I've said before, the Hydra Beauty Nourishing Lip Balm is great. Nail uh, polishes and treatments. This I did show in my unboxing, uh, my pre-loved, last pre-loved unboxing of my UG wallet. I did quickly show this at the end. Totally botched the name. It's the Sally Hansen Gel Shine 3D. I said 360. 3D top coat. It is really good. It makes your polish really beautiful, super shiny, similar to like a shellac top coat, I guess. The only downside, great brush, really thick, lovely. The only downside is that the bottle uh, flakes off. So all of my hands now there is flakes of like <laughs> silver foiling and it gets stuck in the top coat when I paint it and I get like silver flakes in my nail polish which nobody wants. These two colors I have been loving for the month of July. You may or may not have seen me haul this Essence 
uh, gel nail polish, the new gel type sort of like shellac I said. It is in the color Serendipity 37 and I described it as similar to my Dare It Nude, like a chalky, lavender, grey kind of, yeah, lavendery color. And then in my last haul, collective haul from Louis Vuitton, I wore my Rimmel London Salon Pro Kate Moss uh, polish and it got so many comments. It isn't a red, it's like a, if you have from OPI um, the, sh the shrimp color, Cajun shrimp, yeah that's it, it's similar to that. This is the Hip Hop 317 from the Kate Moss line, Rimmel London. It's really nice. They have big fat brushes so it's easy to apply. This item, I didn't think I was going to love it and I really do now. It is the Daily Makeup Brush Cleanup from Sephora. I picked this up when I was with my gorgeous friend Lisa, the world according to Lisa. It is super handy, you just spray it on your brush. Mix the brush around like in a tissue or something, you'll see all the product come off the brush and then you can just wave the brush around in the air. It's got like alcohol in it so the brush will dry and you can reuse it straight away like if you want to change colours kind of in a hurry. So it's really handy for things like that. So I really like that and you get it sort of at the checkout, you know, there's all those little bits and bobs as you're walking out. And I got this guy, I picked it up at Woolworths, it's the V05 Pump It Up Dry Shampoo. Boosts body and grips while refreshing your style. Yeah, for fine or flat or oily to dry hair, so it's kind of across the board. And what I like about this dry shampoo is, it shake it up and it's not talcum powdery. I love the Batiste and it smells like you just came out of a salon. I like the Batiste but it's really talcum powdery. Great bright fuchsia packaging. They have all different range of things but I know I'm really liking this. It gives you good volume. I've got tons of hair. I don't enjoy washing it every single day. The last two items are from my good friend. Mr. Vuitton, <laughs> these two items, this would have to be my new to me. If you saw this unboxing, I told you it was two years in the making because I've been stalking this item and it is my pre-loved Louis Vuitton Eugene wallet in the multicolor monogram in the color noir, which is the black, with the Grenade fuchsia lining. I had found it in almost pristine condition. There are a few scuffs and marks, one being an ink mark on the front for Keta tab. I have found out from Serena that I can replace this whole tab. It will cost, I think, 150, you can see that the Vaquetta on the inside is really white, but it will cost $150 to replace this tab. I can try getting rid of it as an option and then if that doesn't work, I can replace the tab if I want to. It's not particularly bothering me, but I do know it's there in the back of my head. This is definitely a favorite, not only because it was that kind of like triumph moment when I got it and found it, uh, because it is so easy to use. I love my Zippy Compact wallet. If you guys, if anyone out there has it, shout out to my boy Elliot. I know he just got his hands on a Zippy Compact wallet. I get emails and messages all the time saying that, you know, you guys, my subbies and followers have got the Zippy Compact wallet and it's fantastic. I am in the same boat, obviously. The upward slots for cards is so handy in the shops. You can just, you know, fang it out that way. So it's just really super duper handy. This is a great flat leg configuration wallet. And yeah, really enjoying it. Not putting coins in the back because I haven't had this bright pink in a wallet before. So not doing that as yet, but definitely a fave for July. The bag favorite for July is this beauty. I have had a lot of inquiries about these, mainly emails about this beautiful Louis Vuitton Montaigne MM in the monogram canvas. This is the MM, it is medium size. I think it is just enough. Yes, the GM is amazing, but I find it a lot bigger than this. This is a really good grab and go size. And the patina isn't too much to, the patina, the vaquetta isn't too much to worry about. 
and you always have the option of being able to unclasp and pop the handles down inside the bag and just use the canvas uh, shoulder strap so the handles are down inside the bag there if it was to and the clochette if it was to be pouring with rain you always have that option to hide those which is a good kind of peace of mind if you worry about Faketa that way. Uh, at the moment you will see I have my small luggage tag on the side of it here with my little motto, my, my motto clasp that my beautiful friend BJ Taylor, hi BJ, sent me. Thank you so much. The reason it is on here is because I didn't tell you in that vlog going out to Serena, I did in fact give her my Speedy B25 to fix the, the zipper pulls. A few people on that video said their zipper pulls are turning as well. Take it back to your SA, show them, tell them, you know, this isn't what it's meant to do and they will let you know if they can fix it or whatnot. Uh, but yes, so that was the update on my Speedy B. So this is on here at the moment. But this bag, truthfully, is just so user-friendly. similar to the GST. I've said it before with the layout, the interior layout of the two large pockets with the zipper compartment in the middle. In fact, a lot of bags, a lot of designers and luxury brands are doing this layout because it just seems to be the most user-friendly, really. To be able to put your possessions in the middle with a zipper and then quick easy access like a tote bag to the big compartments. The lining is what I just love about this bag and happily, happily, and I love that it's like that burgundy Bordeaux kind of maroon colour and happily as I have now said in my collective haul including this bag it too has the microfiber soft plush lining. I did say in the haul it's amazing. It truthfully is amazing. Don't get me wrong, I like the cotton drill lining, but this just ups the ante. It makes it so much more luxe and beautiful. And yeah, now I'm going to show you how I pack this bag. So it is the, uh, the Louis Vuitton Noir um, monogram Amparant um, twin set. It's the new um, twin set bag and I'm going to show you how I pack it. Alrighty, here is our bag. I will do a full review on it obviously once I've used it a lot more. As I said, I've only taken it out once. Uh, so I will do a few full review for right now I'm just going to show you how I pack it and options you can have to fit in it So I'm going to start off with packing the back compartment. I explained I already have I still have the tape on it <laughs> um, So there it is you can see in there probably equivalent to um, I would say just this back pocket maybe a pochette accessories yeah, maybe. So in this back pocket, what I put in it, which I said on a post in Instagram, which I couldn't believe, is my mini pochette. It fits in here. It's crazy. And I always have to downsize that item. Like I usually, in my boy bag, I have to downsize it. And in other bags, these is what I'm using my coins for at the moment. It's my Damien Bing clay. That just slides down perfectly next to it, like so. And it leaves enough room on top for the zipper to close if I'm going to put my sunglasses in with it. So my sunglasses here are my Celine Sunnies, the large shadow Sunnies. Not to get, they can't go in their own pouch because it's too big. But this is just a little cute equip one, just a soft pouch that... I've had so putting them down uh, lenses first like so it fits and I just when I worked that out I could not believe it so the sunnies so that would mean any sunnies probably then really oversized sunnies in a little dust bag will fit in that back compartment which is just crazy so in here I have a clay a full mini pochette and my Celine sunglasses. So, I mean, that's nuts. In this middle secret compartment, it fits an iPhone 6. It fits an iPhone 6 Plus. So we would just slide my iPhone 6 down the middle of it, all the way to the bottom, and it closes with the magnet there. So that's my phone in there, and you can already see it's not too, too bulky. And moving forward to this front pocket, 
in this front pocket it's not as spacious as that back zip pocket it's just not it's probably similar to the back pocket of a pochette matisse uh, so in this front pocket I downsize my wallet and because it makes me happy to be matchy matchy I, I use my wallet is the emprunt clay in noir in the black so I'm using that I'll use that as a wallet down there you can see that and then my house keys are in my dummy azure clay so I will slip that down next to it like that and then separately at the moment I'm carrying my car key I'm not quite sure why I'm doing that it just seems to be working easier so there's all of those items that I would need necessarily down there I have my elf the um, liquid lipstick I just showed you I'll show you popping that in I have my satin mauve lip, lip pencil from Essence I'll put that in but a few lippies can go in there and you can see them they're just standing up next to the key the car key there but there's probably room for that maybe if do I want to put maybe we can see if we can put my Chanel lip balm like that and we will see if we can close it up yeah all right it's, it's a little bit bulky probably because of the lip balm but all in all, it's still slimmer than the Pochette Matisse. As I said in the collective haul of this bag, the Pochette Matisse is a lot more of a bulky square. It's, it's a lot bigger bag, in fact. So there we go. <laughs> that is what I would carry for the day. And I can tell you that that, just that amount, is already more than my boy bag. My boy bag cannot fit all these items. I definitely know that for sure. I will give you some other options. So emptying the front pocket out. If you were definitely needing your agenda and you can double up and use this as a wallet with the card slots inside and pop some cash in there, you can fit a uh, a PM agenda six ring PM agenda in the front there and then that is oh well you can put your keys down as well so maybe that and you can have that instead of like that your agenda can fit in here someone did ask me a full-size wallet now this is my Emily it is currently stuffed with a little bit of air paper I will take it out even though once it is full of things it could even be that big but an emily wallet is probably the best full-size wallet to fit in this bag so there you go front pocket emily wallets in there my house keys can go in with it maybe just like that and my car key and bam so technically this bag is and that's still look with all of those items still in the back and the phone so that is just showing you some configurations of just this front pocket let alone the configurations I could do on the back pocket and what it can different variations of what it can hold but I tell you what this little bag is just really deceiving you don't think you can get that much in it I told my best friend Jen the other night I was showing it to her because she went crazy over it I was saying it definitely is a big downsize but Jen babe now I might say that this compared to an old medium boy I'm going to say this holds more than the old medium boy for sure because for me to be able to fit a full size wallet, keys, a mini pochette and sunglasses, I mean that just cannot be held in a boy. Uh, let's just check here. So this is my Zippy Compact Wallet in Demiary Bin. Let's go ahead. That of course is going to fit. If an Emily fits, that's fitting. And then maybe you don't have keys, so your, your lip gloss in there. And maybe I could add like an extra clay, slide that down behind. So that looks similar to that. And that's probably a bit of a stretch, especially because the items aren't full. But that's that there as well. So wow, it just, it's very, very deceiving little bag. Super deceiving. So great for, you know, going to Disneyland, theme parks, going to the zoo, a shopping day with the girls, running around hands-free, crossbody, on your shoulder. 
a super really cute little bag full leather I'm so stoked I got it in the noir which is the black because I really wanted another grab-and-go bag and I think this might just be it but yes that is it guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys I hope you liked my favorites and I hope you really enjoyed how I pack my bag on my new twin set if you are thinking about it please go out to a boutique and have a look at it just touch it I really never thought I would get an emperor bag especially because of the weight of uh, a full leather bag they're much much heavier but obviously because this is more of a slimmer thinner littler bag uh, I thought eh, why not we'll just downsize all over again but truthfully I really do love it so thanks for watching guys I hope everybody is doing really well I will see you in my next video take care peace Stand by the ocean, hand in hand.